Right, so what we're going to see is the vibration going backwards and forwards. We want to try and measure that, see how far it actually works. Hi, this video is looking at um, some gyration in the in the actual arms um, of the QAB 250. Um, it's Possibly because the um, legs have been cut out in such a manner that they're too thin and we're actually um, going to see what sort of perceived stress um, happens to the blades because of it. So this video is really trying to improve um, quadcopter design. Okay. Hi Sal, how are you in this area? Sal, how are you today? Good. That's it. Um, so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to plug this in um, and turn this on and what we're going to see is these motors when they flex on that motor they flex and they gyrate around. So you ready to watch this sound? I guess. Okay. And you'll see the motors when they spin it'll start to cavitate backwards and forwards. See that flexing there in the motors? And that one there? Now we don't know if this is just a weakness in the system or this is a fundamental fault. Other, even the um, arms on the blackout seem to have the same twist to them and then the motors vibrate. So I think it's a fundamental flaw of quadcopters and it's something that we need to um, sort out and get fixed. Um, the experts have said that the, after a crash, the internal laminations of one of the arms can actually um, come undone inside the actual um, the fibers and the, the bonding agent and create that and then it just probably gradually gets worse. So there could be that side of things, the fatigue thing, but I've also seen on brand new ones, um, they still have the same um, effect. So it's a design fault and it's something that I don't think has been picked up um, with regards to the designers. So hopefully this video will um, give them some insight into it. So let's cross now to the bench. Sales, my little assistant, he's going to be helping me. So I'm just going to bring this up. see that's the um, one that's had its blade broken um, so we'll see if it's um, happening on the back ones as well <laughs> so all four of them are doing it so we'll swap 
it out and we'll see if it makes a difference. Very good. Okay, Sal, can you turn this off now? One. Oh, okay. Sorry. Turn this off? Yeah, turn it off now, thanks. As you've seen, um, we've seen the vibrations that happen, and they happen on all four motors. Um, it's not there at certain frequencies, and other frequencies it really starts to um, amplify. It's called forced oscillation, where the motor is putting energy into it, and it gets itself into a vibrating setup, um, where the elasticity of the arms brings it back to normal, and then the blade pushes it out again. And So that one does that. We'll try it on this one. And we've got this one as also. And lastly, this one. And back to the original one. Okay, I'm back. And uh, it's, I call it like a gyration, um, other call it a huck, um, but we've definitely seen it and um, I don't think changing the blade or um, putting the um, new arm on is going to make much difference. How you back, Sal? Now doing that, by stabilizing it, all the others stop vibrating. Once that's vibrating, it sets off all the others to do it. So okay, so um, I might stick some um, six inch blades on it um, to see if we can to improve it. And the other thing is we've got a quadcopter to lift with six inch blades. So we'll give that a crack as well. Okay, thanks.